Welcome to this week's weekly update. Last Friday, Governor Butch Otter's task force on setting up a state health exchange met for the final time. Task force members voted 11 to 2 to build a state-run health exchange. Representative Lynn Luker of Boise and Idaho Freedom Foundation Executive Director Wayne Hoffman were the two who voted against implementing an exchange. Governor Otter spokesman John Hanyon said it's important to remember that this is a non-binding recommendation, that the governor appreciates the work done by the group. Hanyon declined to speculate on when the governor will choose which course to pursue. Levitt Partners, one of the four firms that presented to the task force, estimates setup costs from $30 million to $70 million. Another $10 million annually is estimated to operate the exchange. Idaho's Workforce Development Fund, which is overseen by the Idaho Department of Labor, was found to be just 40% effective in a new report by the department. The training fund is overseen by a 32-member council, a statewide task force comprised of individuals from both the public and private sector who are appointed by the governor. The fund is financed with a 3% offset paid by Idaho businesses to the State Unemployment Insurance Fund. Over the 16-year period in which the program has been in place, over $62 million has been spent. Idaho Public Television currently operates on a budget of $2.5 million, which is up slightly from the previous year when they spent around $2.3 million. But in 2014, IPTV has requested $3.9 million in state tax dollars for its operation, a significant increase. IPTV General Manager Peter Morrill told IR that state and federal tax dollars are important, but that 65% of its budget comes from private donations. Morrill also said that IPTV has seen a 27% decrease in state funding in recent years. Governor Butch Otter even tried to discontinue state funding altogether in 2010, but the state legislators disagreed with him. Morrill said an increase in spending in 2014 is needed because the recent budget cuts have forced the agency to forego replacing some physical assets that are subject to wearing out. That's it for this week's weekly update. We will be off for the next two weeks on November 9th and November 16th. Remember to stay up to date important policy news by visiting our website, liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter at Idaho Reporter. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend.